Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install Zoom, the real app, on your Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. And so I want to give a big thank you to Nova Spirit Tech, which you guys all probably know. He does a he has a great channel about tech and Raspberry Pi. He does a lot of different stuff like that. Well, he he had a tutorial how to install Zoom with Box 86. And so that was very helpful. And Box86, if you don't know what it is, it's included in Twister OS. And it's made by a developer called Pitseb. And he's done a great job and it can emulate Linux x86 apps. So you can run x86 Linux apps on your um, Raspberry Pi OS like this. Well, in the tutorial that Nova Spirit Tech did, he showed how you can install it manually, which is not hard at all. But... I was going to do a tutorial on how to do it this way, but last night I saw that Picus, which you guys all know, prob which you probably all know, which is an amazing app for your Raspberry Pi OS made by Jose Serjan. Um, well, he added Zoom to this, so you can install Zoom on your Raspberry Pi OS or Twister OS with one click of the button. So that's really great. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. So go to his GitHub page. Scroll down a little bit, right here, the installation, and you're just going to copy this curl command right here. Just copy, and you're going to open up a terminal. I'm just going to minimize this tab here. And just paste that command in your terminal, and it's starting to install PyCus. It gets all the files and dependencies that it is needed. And it is done, so it shows you where it is. It's in System Tools. So we can just close this up. We go over here to System Tools and open up PyCus. And PyCus will open up for us. So what we need, what we want to do when we get here is we want to go over to Internet. Go to Internet. And right here, Zoom. It says Zoom. So you're just going to click on OK. And it is saying it's thanks to Box86. And it is installing Box86 for us, and then it's going to install Zoom for us. Now it's downloading Box86. And extracting. And now it's downloading the Zoom app for us. Okay, so now it's done, and it says press enter to run. So if I press enter, it's going to start this stuff right here. And it's emulating it. That's why it's showing all of these um, little commands and stuff here, and why it's saying emulated. Here we are, Zoom Cloud Meetings running on our Raspberry Pi OS, which is so amazing. So also, if I just close that up, there is an icon in Internet. So we go over to Zoom, and it does that same thing. And it's going to emulate all of this stuff and do that. So now I'm going to open up a Zoom meeting on my computer, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm in a meeting now, and if I wave my hand over here over my desktop computer you can see that it is getting picture the zoom app is working and I can go into full screen too if I like and I can see the participants so it opens up here two people and then the chat chat is also fully functional I can type something and it sends it. I don't have a microphone or a camera connected to my Pi. So that's why I don't have a picture or audio on. So I can't test audio. But Nova Spirit did and it does work. So then we have video, chat, participants. You can record. And you can also actually share your screen. 
to share. See, I get all of the tools that I would get when I'm sharing my screen. So I can, it's actually really cool. So this used to, to use Zoom on your Pi, you have to go to the web browser, and that would be so much more laggier. This is like amazing. And I'm looking at my desktop computer right now, and every mouse movement I'm doing is showing up and working. So I'm going to stop sharing now. It's not stopping sharing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's about it of all of this. But, so if you're somebody who, you, you need to do online school and your Pi is all that you have, this is an amazing cool solution to use Zoom. Or if you're working and you need to use Zoom and you have to use your Pi, this is a great so solution to do that. So thank you to Nova Spirit for making this possible. And thanks to Box86, Pitseb, and a big thanks to Pikes, develop to the Pikes developer for making this so easy to install on your Pi. So if this video was helpful for you guys, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.